All right, so the next and the last quadric surface we're going to discuss is a hyperbolic paraboloid. This is very similar to elliptical paraboloid, except we have a minus sign in between the terms that are squared. And of course, this is equals to one of the variable. So that's one way you can note that it is a hyperbolic paraboloid. Let me show you the general picture. First, let's write down the center of this surface. The center would be again, X, O, Y, O, Z, O. And if you look at the traces, so let's suppose I said um, uh, either X or Y equals to a zero, or let's make them disappear really. So if one of the variable is eliminated from the equation, let's suppose we eliminate X. So if X is eliminated, then you're looking at something of the type Y minus Y squared over B squared is equal to Z minus Z naught over C. Now, if you assume the center is zero, then you're li really looking at just Y squared over some constant is equal to Z. Now, this is the equation of a parabola. So when you're looking at the traces in the YZ plane, our traces are going to be parabolas. So in YZ plane, we can say that the traces are parabolas. And similarly, if you ignore uh, Y, then again, you have another parabola, but it's facing down because of that negative. So in XZ plane, the traces are also parabolas. And now if you let z be a constant, then you have this equation equals to a constant, which is an equation of a hyperbola. So in the x, y plane, we have hyperbolas. So that's why it is a hyperbolic paraboloid. Let me show you the picture so that we're familiar with how this looks like. So here's our x, y, and z plane. Let's go ahead and label them. This is x, this is y, and this is z. Well, suppose this is the negative x, uh, perhaps negative y, and here we have negative z. And for simplicity, again, I'm going to assume this is uh, our center. That would be x, o, y, o, and z, o. Let's pick them to be zero for simplicity again. So now if I'm sketching oh, in YZ plane, I'm looking at parabolas that are facing up. So, so in YZ plane, so it's gonna be a parabola like this, something like that. And then in um, XZ plane, I have parabolas that are facing down. So perhaps, um, so parabola is facing down like this. So that's one of them. And then there are infinitely many right here. So like this, you just have a bunch of parabolas facing down. And there's probably, I'm gonna draw one more right here. So this is how it's gonna look like. So, so I use your imagination to see that this is really probably one of the difficult ones to draw. And then we have the hyperbolas in the XY plane. So um, now that's hard to draw. I'm just gonna draw like this. So suppose this will continue on and then you have, all right, so let's connect them like this. All right, and then let's do the background. So in the, in the behind, we have something that looks like that. Okay, so hopefully you get an idea of how this is coming out to be. So you can imagine the hyperbolas in the XY plane. You have traces of parabolas in YZ plane. Now this looks more like a saddle. So that's why we call this actually a saddle. This is parallel to the y-axis. Now, if you change the equation, for example, if I put the negative here and positive here, 
then it becomes a saddle parallel to the x-axis. Let's sketch this surface. So this is uh, this is going to be a saddle uh, or a hyperbolic paraboloid. So if you notice that, again, two terms are squared equals to one of the variable, there's a minus sign in the middle. So those are the key components we look for. The center is going to be 0, 0, 0. Now let's take a look at where the parabolas are. So if I um, make y disappear from my equation, I have x equals z squared. So in um, x, z plane, we will have parabolas. And then if I make z disappear, I have x equals negative y squared. So those are the parabolas facing down in x, y plane. We're going to have uh, parabolas again, but they're facing down. And then if I let z be a constant, sorry, uh, x be a constant. So if x is a constant, then we have hyperbolas in a z y plane. In z y plane. Okay, so now let's put these all together. So here's our x, y, and z plane. So here's our x, here is y, and here is z. So um, so let's let's do this first because that's the parabola that's um, uh, uh, facing upward. So that's the one in x, z plane. So you have a parabola x equals z squared. So uh, x equals z squared will look something like this. So you have one piece right here. So I'm actually going to ignore the negative z-axis so it doesn't interfere with my sketch. Um, so I will have something that looks like this and then something that looks like this. So that's the parabola along the x-z plane. And then um, in um, x-y plane, we have the parabolas facing down. So let's um, do this. So we have a parabola right here, and this is in the background. So maybe we can do better than that. I'm just gonna try to uh, trace it this way. And then there are parabolas right here. So that was the center. I forgot to mention that this is my center, zero, zero, zero. And here is another parabola. Here is another one, just drawing enough to see the sketch of this saddle. Something like that. And just draw one more right here, like this. And then I'm just gonna draw this side of the shape. So that's the one that's gonna touch the uh, parabolas. something like that. And then we just make sure these are uh, connecting through like this. It looks like a better picture. So hopefully you got an idea of how this is coming along. So this is a saddle along the z-axis. So it's parallel to the z-axis and i'm just going to finish up the drawing but i hope you have a visual understanding of this by now so play around with it and hopefully you got a better idea of this let's go ahead and graph this surface so we have x squared minus y squared is equal to z so that's a hyperbolic paraboloid let's uh find the center of this so the center would be zero 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 and um if you look at the traces, so if I uh, if I uh, let y be zero, so if y is zero, then you have x squared equals two z. So that's a parabola in the uh, x z plane. So this is going to be a parabola, so parabolas in x z plane. So we'll draw that a little bit later. 
And then if you let x equal to zero, then you have negative y squared is equal to z. That's also a parabola, but because of the negative, it's gonna be facing downward. So this would also be a parabola in yz plane. And now if you let um, z equals to a constant, we're going to create um, x squared minus y squared equal to a constant, it'll be a form of a hyperbola. So you'll have hyperbolas in xy plane. Now let's let's see how, how to sketch this. If you want, you can draw individual sketches in the xz plane, yz plane, and xy plane. But I'm gonna try to show you all at once in the um, x, y, and z plane. So here's our x, y, and z plane. Let's call this x, y, and z. So the center is right here. This is zero, zero, zero. And uh, so in the x, z plane, we're looking at this parabola. So that's a parabola going upward uh, to something like this. So perhaps something like that. And then um, we have the, 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 the parabola z equals negative y squared. So those are the ones that are facing down in the yz plane. So perhaps uh, like this. And then there, just draw a couple more till you get a better idea of this shape. So these are the parabolas facing down. So, so I'm gonna try to redraw this one. So it gives you a better view. Um, something like that. And then this one right here. So these are the parabolas, z equals negative y squared. And it, it looks like a saddle, but um, let's just to finish it up with this curve right here and then there's also this right here in the background so something like that so not the best thing again this this is a a little bit challenging surface to sketch but the more you practice the better picture you can create so we often call this a settle so there you go that's the uh, settle uh, it's parallel to the x-axis so i don't think you can see that but Hopefully you can visualize that. So the hyperbolas are the one I didn't get to draw in this picture, but they are in the uh, xy plane. So if you project this down in the xy plane, you'll see hyperbolas. So let me show you that in a 3D calculator. Hopefully you'll have a better perspective on this. Here's my 3D calculator. Um, as you can see, if I project this down in the xy plane, you start to see the hyperbolas. So the hyperbolas are along the x-axis. So the one in red, that's the x-axis, and you can see the hyperbolas. And then as you open up along the z-axis, you can see the saddle.